Hi everyone, this is Katie with Katie Dixon Photography and today I'm going to be showing you in this video how to stop the Mac Photos app from opening every time you plug in a camera or memory card or your phone. If you're anything like me uh, and you really don't use the Photos app for anything at all, um, it's really annoying when it keeps popping up every time you plug something in. And it took me a while to figure out how to get this to stop. So I'm going to show you two ways to get the Mac Photos app to stop opening every time you're trying to import your images to your computer. So there are two ways to do this. The first one is pretty easy and um, should work if you are the type of person who plugs your camera directly into your computer or if you have maybe just one memory card that you're using over and over again. Um, so this is just the, the first way, the really easy way, so I'm just going to show you. I have a memory card here that I'm going to plug into my computer and uh, photo should pop open so we'll see just give me a second and I'm just plugging this into a card reader that I have attached to my computer so I'm inserting that card and here's photos it's popped up and um, it is going to try and import these images and basically the easiest way to get it to stop doing this is to uncheck this box right here up at the top that says open photos for this device now, as I said, if you are plugging in uh, the same device over and over again, whether it be your phone or your camera or a memory card that you use constantly, that's all you need to do. Uh, you just need to uncheck that box for every device that you're plugging in that you don't want photos to open for. So the next time you um, plug that card in or that, that camera in, it's not gonna come up. Now, if you're like me, and you have a million different memory cards. I mean, I've got uh, tons and this is just a few of them. Um, I have so many and I reformat them after every shoot. So every time I reformat that card, when I plug it into my computer, the computer reads it as a brand new card. It doesn't read it as um, a device that I've previously synced before. So photos will still pop up. and. The way to get photos to stop pop popping up in this case is a little bit more complicated and it requires using the terminal. Now, if you're uncomfortable using the terminal on your Mac, stop now, don't do it, proceed with caution, do not pass go, all that fun stuff. Um, if you wanna watch me do it and you think that this is something that you might be comfortable with, um, please by all means go ahead, but I don't wanna be responsible for um, you messing up your computer. Uh, now, using the terminal is pretty easy, and in this case, it's super simple, so you should be able to handle this. Okay, guys, so I'm opening up the terminal uh, on my computer. This You can find this underneath your um, applications menu. I already had this open, so it's just right here on the dock. Um, but it, it opens, should default open to something that looks like this. So it should look pretty gibberishy. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to paste in a line of text, which is a command line, uh, into this terminal. And I've already copied it, so it's already in my clipboard. And I'm just going to paste that in. And it should look something like that. And then all you're going to do is you're going to hit enter, and that's it. it. Photos will not open again no matter what you plug into it. And you'll have to, if you want to get into the Photos app, you'll just have to open it like any other program and click on it from the Applications menu. Um, from here, I can just quit out of the terminal and be done. Now, that line of text is very specific, so you shouldn't mess with it. And I have pasted it as is and as you need to paste it into the terminal in the comment section below this video. So just, and it's in bold, so just copy it. All, everything that's in bold and paste it into the terminal window hit enter and you will be good to go now if you've enjoyed this video and I hope you did give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed subscribe to my channel for more photography tips tricks and tutorials and I'll see you in the next one have a great day guys bye